Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Adam here from Get Sports Active. Welcome to our channel. Before we get started, click on the subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Okay, we're not all lucky enough to have lots of equipment at home. Some of us haven't got balls and bats and other things to play with. But there's no reason we can't use things that are lying around your household to create toys and equipment to play with. So instead of tennis balls, there's no reason we can't create sock balls. To create a sock ball, this is what you need to do. Take one sock, scrunch it up into a ball, and force it right down to the toe of another sock. So push it in, push it in, push it in, push it in, and force it right into the toe. From there, you're going to twist the ball on top, and then pull your hand and the sock over the top of the ball. You can repeat this process. So hand in, twist the ball, grab onto the sock, give it a pull, down to the end, this will take several t attempts to do. Twist, grab, pull. In, twist, grab, pull. In, twist, grab, and pull. And you might be left with a little bit at the end. A little bit at the end, just fold it back on itself to create a neater shape ball, okay? Not much difference between that and the tennis ball. If you want to make it larger, there's no reason why you can't grab another sock. Stick the ball right down into the bottom again. So force the ball right down to the bottom of the toe. Push, 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 push. And again, repeating the process. Twist, grab, pull. Twist, grab, and pull. Twist, grab, and pull. Again, folding over the top just to make it neat. You created yourself a tennis ball that you can be practicing all of your skills with. Not much difference between the two. Give it a go. Let us know how you get on. Stay active, guys.